the box So you know she gotta fit Smiling like I'm proud of it Money got a pile of it That shit been getting long I can stretch it to a mile and left I been going too crazy I been up for two days Mapping out a new plan I'ma have it too made I'ma get like two maids Get more head than two pays Yo BM in my DM Say she wanna ride the new way Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles and the fans of Philadelphia. We have just clinched the number one seed. We just clinched the division, and we have a first round bye. So we get to relax and enjoy some football next weekend, and not worry about, you know, what I'm saying, really, what's going on? Are we why are we looking at to see who's coming to Philly? Because the road to the to the big game comes through Philly. Whoever wins next week, regardless of the division of the NFC, they have to come to Philly. You know what I mean? You know how important that is? And we have our starting quarterback back. So all of that are are good things. He took a couple sacks, um, but it didn't it didn't look like it didn't change anything that was going on through the game. He still, you know what I'm saying? He played he played okay. Um but that's expected. He just missed two games. But it's a shame that he had to come back and get this win for us. Granted, the uh New York Giants barely played any of their starters. We were up 19 zip and kind of let them back in it. So, they were forced to play the whole whole game pretty much. I'm not sure what's going on with the back end of the defense, but we got to get that cleaned up before the playoffs start. Slay was playing amazing at the beginning of the season, and it's just he got burnt yesterday. He he got moss yesterday. Got caught with one hand. I I seen he he tried to swipe it out the way, but the hand was just a little late. It is what it is. Um, we got the win. That's all that really matters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do want to speak about another team, though, but I ain't even going to say nothing because the regular season is now over. Everyone is 0-0. Zero, 0-0. Zero. Zero, zero. You know what I'm saying? The regular season does not matter now. It does not matter. But Hurts is 14-1 as a starter, so I think we got our franchise quarterback. I felt like we had our franchise quarterback before the season started. I didn't think he would play as well as he did. But I feel like whoever's doing the MVP voting should really take a hard look because that's the definition of MVP, most valuable player. When he's not on that field, we take two L's. As soon as he comes back, we get a win. Regardless who the opposing team had on the field, we came back and got a win. That is the most viable player. Because without Hurts, I don't I honestly don't think we can go far in the playoffs. If Minshew's a starter, I mean maybe he might have a good game, but I really don't trust it. So to the MVP voters, you know what I mean? Come on, man. You got you to gotta give it to him. As much doubt and, and shame as he went through, they're going to be looking for a quarterback. He's not the guy. Come on. That's the definition. He is the definition of MVP. But anyway, um, shout out and congratulations to um, Brown. He was four for 95 yesterday. Four receptions for 95 yards. One more catch. He could have he could have broke another 100 yard game, but he was four for 95 on the season. He's 88 for 14.95. He had 1,495 yards on the season, 11 touchdowns, which actually put him past Mike Quick for the uh, single season franchise record. Mike Quick um, had 1,409 yards, set in 1983. That was a long time ago, but I think it was only a, what, 
15, 16 game season then. We got 18 games now, so I mean, but he still broke the record. It is what it is. You can't put a limit on the games. That's just what it was back then. That's what it is now. So congratulations to um Brown. Then we got um Devontae Smith. Yesterday he was six for six seven for sixty seven yards. On the season, he's caught 95 balls. Pause. He caught, he caught he had 95 catches for 1196 yards, seven touchdowns on the season. He broke his rookie season record, and um, the 95 yards is a um, a receiving record for a wide receiver in um, the franchise. That's the most catches by any wide receiver in our franchise history. So, congratulations to him on that. Sanders, um, he only had 11 for 33 yesterday, but he finished the season with 1,269 yards. That's his season high. So, all three of them guys, uh, well, all four of them guys, Jalen Hurts also, you know, had their best pro season. And, and just to say that Jalen Hurts, is that guy because Ryan Tannehill was supposed to be a great, a good pocket passer, right? He was with Antonio Brown his first two years in the season. First two or three years, first three years, I believe. First three years in this season, just better than every season he had in Tennessee. So, got to give it to my guy, man. Come on, man. Let's get this MVP. I know they ain't going to give it to him, though. I know the politics of the NFL, football, they not going to give it to him. He missed two games. But that should be included, you know what I mean? The two games he missed, we lost. Come on, man, let's give it to him. Give it to him. But whatever, it is what it is. We're going to, um, we about to wrap it up. Um, I'm going to just say that we do have a top 10 pick now. I spoke about that on the last video. The New Orleans Saints lost yesterday, so we do now have a top 10 pick. That that pick is sealed. You know what I'm saying? Sealed, delivered. We got the 10th pick in the draft. With our own pick, you know, it's to be disclosed of who, how the playoffs, who, who loses, who wins. You know what I'm saying? Of course, if you go to the Super Bowl win it, you don't have the last pick of the draft. So, that's to be announced, but other than that, the defense, the run game, um, defense like the the just got ran all over yesterday. I, I'm not sure if Ndamukong and Sue even played yesterday. I seen Lebel Joseph out there, but the the um, the way we were giving up runs yesterday it was like we had backups in, but we had all of our starters in. We definitely can't do that in the playoffs. We definitely can't do that in the playoffs. We do that in the playoffs. It's, it's going to be too easy. It's going to be too easy giving up the opposing team points, especially if you can't score no points. We got into the red zone, what, four or five times yesterday. Jake Elliott had the most kicks since, like, 19, I don't know when. He had five field goals yesterday. You can't get to the red zone. And keep getting field goals. You got to punch it in sometimes. Um, Boston Scott scored the only touchdown yesterday, rushing touchdown, which is kind of good for him because um, he has 17 touchdowns in his career. Ten of them have come against the New York Giants. That's why they call him the Giant Killer. He gets he just he just does his thing against the Giants every time. I'm not sure why, but. It is what it is, man. You can't you can't get mad at it. Um, I didn't want to speak about it because I really don't care about them guys. But um, <laughs> six points, six points with all your starters in on offense and defense against the Washington Commanders backups. Not even backups. The third string quarterback was in the game. And now y'all can score with six points. What uh, what 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 uh, Leshawn McCoy say? Dak's ass ass. He's ass ass. He 
<laughs> he got the longest streak with an interception in the game. I just don't. I, I'm not going to speak on it. I apologize to the Cowboy fans. If any Cowboy fans watching, I apologize. Your quarterback is, is average. I'm not going to say he's ass. He's average. It is what it is. He has some good games. And majority of the time, he's trying to get a game away. But whatever. We'll watch, we're going to watch some football next Sunday. See what's going on. See who we play the Sunday after next. You know what I mean? But regardless of whoever it is, you got to come to Philly. And uh, Jalen Hurts said, you know what I'm saying? You know, like he said, the job is not done. And he said, we're undefeated in black. So <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going we gonna to black out all, you know what I'm saying, the whole playoff run. But I'm open for it. I like the black on black. You know what I mean? I, I like the black on black. I'm cool with it. I'm 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 cool with it. Um, I'm happy with the win, but the job is not finished. It's not all I wanted. I definitely want to win more than that. Um, it's gonna be a good playoff. It's gonna be good playoffs. You got the Bills in there. You got Kansas City in there. Um, Miami is in there, but I'm not sure if Tua is gonna play or not. If Tua doesn't play, then. I'm pretty not sure. I'm not sure what's going to go on over there. But anyway, we just focusing on us. We just ready to rest, get our bodies right, get our minds right. They got some of the rust off yesterday, which is cool. Have a good week of practice next week. And let's welcome whoever's coming to the link. Just welcome, welcome them. Um, show them some nice hospitality. But when we get on that field, you know, you know what it is. We on go. We on green. We bleeding green. You know what it is over here. Like, comment, subscribe. Send to your mama, your uncle, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, your dog, your cat, your snakes. I don't care. Send it to all of them. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Even if you don't like the video, subscribe anyway. You ain't got to watch the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.